in this lecture we are going to learn about IP addresses okay so this is a buzzword that we always hear what is the IP address of this machine what is the IP address of your mobile and so on okay so we will study here about IP addresses and we will know what does it mean so let's try to see so upon completion of this lecture so first thing is that you will understand the IPv4 addresses and the classes of IPv4 addresses okay then you will understand how to find the class of an IP address find the network address of a given IP address and what are the network mask okay this thing also you will hear a lot and know how to use them understand subnets and supernets okay so this is in short what you will get from this lecture okay so we will proceed so what is an IP address so it's an identifier in a TCP IP protocol where each device on the network gets a unique IP address okay and this IP address is basically a 32 bit number okay so there are many computers on this earth okay and they are all connected so now when similar to people there are many people in a room so to what we give in a classroom also we have students with roll numbers okay so that we can uniquely identify them okay so similarly on in the internet you have many machines and to uniquely identify each machine we give a 32 bit number to them which is unique and universal okay two devices on the internet can never have the same address okay because if we want to send some packet to this one so if two computers have the same name or IP address there will be ambiguity about which of them to send and we don't want that okay so that is there so let's move forward so IP address is a 32 bit address so what is the size of IP address so it's a 32 bit number and IP addresses are unique what we saw and how much is that 32 bit okay so 32 bit so you have bits like 0, 0, 0001101 1, 0, 1, this till 32 okay so if you have 32 bit number you will have 2 to the power of 32 ip address okay which is quite large but because the number of computers are increasing rapidly and exponentially so even this number has become less to represent all the machines uniquely okay so that's why now we also have IPv6 but for now we will look at IPv4 now let's try to see the dotted decimal notation which is the most usual notation of IP address so we have this number if you see here 128.11.3.31 so this is a human readable format of IP address and what happens you have 32 bits or basically 4 bytes so this is the first byte this is the second byte third byte and fourth byte and we separate them using dotted decimal notation so in actual the 32 bit number is first one is 1000000 okay so this number is nothing but 128 okay then we have this is 11 and if you see this number just we will try to look here so this is 11 and if you see this is 2 to the power of 0 plus 2 to the power of 1 plus 2 0 into 2 square plus 2 cube so 8 plus 2 plus 1 which is 11 okay so this is representing this next one byte is representing 11 then we have 3 so you have 1 1 which is 3 and then we have this 31 so all the last 5 bits are 1 which represents 31 so we have the dotted decimal notation so these are 32 bits okay we take group of 8 bits at a time and put it in decimal dotted decimal form okay so next 
we will try some examples okay change the following ip addresses from binary notation to so these are the binary notations okay and we want to convert it to okay the ip address dotted decimal notation so let's try out ourselves okay so this is a kind of small quiz to make our concept very clear so this is the first question these are the eight bits group and let's try to see it so this first one is 2 to the power of 0 and this is 2 to the power of 7 so 2 to the power of 7 plus 2 to the power of 0 so which is 128 plus 1 so 129 this number is 129 this is 1 plus 2 3 3 plus so this is 1 plus 2 plus 8 so this is 11 this number is 11 this is 1 plus 2 plus Eight. again 11 this is a big number okay so this if you want to see so this is let's try out this is 2 to the power of 0 so 1 plus 2 plus 4 plus 8 plus 16 is not there 32 plus 64 plus 128 okay so this is a big number so 64 32 and then we have eight four two one so eight four twelve twelve fourteen fourteen twenty two twenty six twenty eight twenty nine two so six ten thirteen so two thirty nine i think so i have a kind of mess of calculation here so two thirty nine so this if this is two thirty nine okay and I think the calculation is correct. So this is 129.11.11.239. Okay. So similarly, you can find these again. Okay. So this, these numbers. Okay. And how you just for your knowledge, if you want to have a binary. So to find this binary, what we do, this is 2 to the power of 0. This is 2 to the power of 1, 2 to the power of 2, 2 to the power of 3. 2 to the power of 4 to the power of 5 and so on okay so 1 this is 1 into 2 to the power of 0 plus 0 into 2 to the power of 1 plus 0 into 2 square plus 1 into 2 cube plus 1 into 2 to the power of 4 1 into 2 to the power of 5 1 into 2 to the power of 6 plus 1 into 2 to the power of 7 okay so this is how you represent so let's try to see some more answers okay so we see that the answer is okay so the 129.11.11 .11 and then we have 239 okay so this is our answer which is correct so we can try out others also but i think i hope you understand that so let's move forward next question is just a small quiz again to get your concepts right find the error if any in the following ip address so is there any error let's try to see so this is 111 56 45 78 is there any error so 111 8 bits we have 8 bits in each so 8 each of these dotted decimals should not be more than 255 okay so their range is 0 to 255 because they are all 8 bit numbers so 111 is fine 56 is fine 45 is also in this range 78 in this range so you will think it's correct but the thing is 0 45 there is no need to write like this so this is the error 0 should not be there okay so i think let's check out the answer so there are no leading zeros in the so 0, 0.45 there should be no leading 0 so we are correct bingo next we see 221.34.7.8.20 okay so we have 32 bit address ipv for now here you have five dotted numbers okay so this is not correct it's in fact 40 bits so you are wrong here and that the number of bits is 40 so this is incorrect so let's try to check it we may not have more than four numbers in the ip address dotted numbers because it's more than 32 bits let's try to see the next one 
So 75.45.301.14. Here the thing is this byte, it's more than 8 bits. Okay, 255 is the highest number you can represent using 8 bits. This is 301. So this is also wrong because of this particular reason. So we see that in dotted decimal notation, each number is less than or equal to 255. 301 is obviously out of range. This number is again, so it's pretty simple. You cannot have a binary here. You should represent using a decimal. Okay, and that's I think is there a mixture of binary notation and dotted decimal is not. Please correct. Okay. Now we will see address space for we have here what we are going to see is class classes of IP address. So we have four classes A, B, C, D and E. Okay. And these pictures are basically representing the number of IP addresses in each one. We saw that we have 2 to the power of 32 addresses total. Okay. Half of it is taken by class A address because class A address, the thing is it starts with a bit 1, first bit as 1, next bits can be anything. So this is for class A one followed by anything b is okay so this is zero followed by anything b is one zero okay so we will look at it okay so we will look at the rule so class a you have first byte in that the first bit is zero in class b it's one zero class c it's one one zero class d is one 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 zero Class E is 1111. Okay, so now you will say why do we have these many numbers in class A, class B, and so on. Okay, so you will see that the prefix of each one of them is different. Class A, you can directly know no class A address will belong to any other address. So I will show you this thing. So we have class A starts with a zero. You have 31 bits remaining which can have any value. So we have in class A 2 to the power of 31 addresses. First two bits of class B are 1 and 0 which is unique different from this. The rest of the bits left is 2 to the power of 30 okay, which can be seen here. And 2 to the power of 31 is twice of this. Then we have three bits here taken so it is 2 to the power of 29 as can be seen from this. Class D you have 1 1 1 0. Okay? So this is now 2 to the power of 28 class E is again 2 to the power of 28 addresses. So now the thing is this is the highest number of addresses in class A is highest which is 50% this is half so 25 again half of that 12.5 these two are 6.25. So I hope this is okay for you now let's try to see how we will identify so any class IP address if you want to identify its class so what you need to do is identify the first bits of it okay first four bits kind of thing okay so let's try to see so you start this is the algorithm okay animated algorithm so you start with the IP addresses okay and see if the first bit is zero if it is zero it's class A for sure okay but if it is one then you proceed let's check the second bit if it is zero then it is class b if it is one we cannot say right now what it is now again if third bit is zero so it means one one zero then it is class c but if it is one we proceed further so one 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 and fourth bit is zero then it is class d but if it is one then we have one 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 which is class c so this is the simple algorithm for class e address so we will now use our algorithm here okay so find the class of each address so let's try to see so what is there this has a first bit at zero so this is class a address first bit is one so we proceed to second bit this is also 1, so it means it's not class A, not class B, 1, 1, 0. So this is, I think, based on our previous algorithm, this will be class C. So let's try to check it out. 
so the first bit is 0 this is class A okay the next one the first two bits are 1 the third bit is 0 so this is class C address 11010 zero, one, zero. okay so this is when you have 1 followed by a 0 first two bits is 10 it is class B if you check here class B and then the last one 1111 one, 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 it is class E okay so we are done with this one also so this is the idea class A now let's try to look in terms of numbers or in the dotted decimal so if you have class A it will be from 0 to 127 the first byte and then class B is from 128 to 191 class C is from 192 to 223 class D from 224 to 239 class E 240 to 255 now again a test okay every time we read something we have a test 227.12.14.87 so what is this address so this is addresses now it is class d okay let's try to check the first byte is 227 between 224 to 239 it is class d which was seen previously next one okay i have shown you the answer 193.14.56.22 check out this first one 193 belongs to class c next one 14.23 this is 0 to 127 this is class a address okay and then we have 252 dot something so it is class e okay and final one is 134 so it belongs to class b okay so we have done with our lecture on ip addresses and we learned about classes how the ip address the dotted notation i hope you understand this thanks a lot